And things are not quite back to normal, but sporting events are sounding a lot louder than they did just a week ago. And it's it, all thanks to the governor's move to increase spectator capacity at large scale sporting events like high school football games. Tonight, high school football fans are letting AJ Nwoko know how much they're loving all of this. And he joins us now with more details. Hey, AJ. Oh, thanks. You know, just a few days ago, high school sports were only allowed to have up to 250 spectators at their games, but now that number has doubled and fans are taking notice. It's not 100 percent. I'm pretty excited. They almost get back to normal. But right now, any size crowd means everything to these dedicated Verina fans. It's been a long time coming, you know, with the COVID and everything. I'm glad to be here to watch it. They braved the cold weather. 96. The long lines. They can get their hands on the ticket. They need to come out and support. And safety measures. Yes. Yes. I'm excited, man. Ain't nobody big man. That's right. Go over and let's get it. To see their boys in action. I can't show you this. I got to show you. <laughs> let's go defense. With the cap at just 500 let's spectators. It makes the player tight. It makes them hype, you know? Give them energy. The crowds gathered under these Friday night lights here at Verina and across the state will be the largest permitted since the pandemic began. The previous cap was just half that size. It's part of the governor's decision to ease capacity restriction at recreational events like high school sports. Folks like Brent Johnson. And as you just seen, see if you can hear the electricity. Can hear the difference it makes. This is the first game I've been to all year in person on the East End. So I'm very excited. And it's not just high school sports. Large sporting venues such as the Richmond Raceway and the Diamond can now operate at up to 30% capacity. While the fans could always hope for more, they say allowing more spectators is a winning solution. I'm proud that the governor is, is trusting in us to believe in him and to believe in his doctors and his, and, uh, his team and believing in us. And, and we're getting out there right now. I like it. Now, these current measures will last until the end of the regular season throughout playoffs, which are expected to end at the beginning of May. But for now, on your side in Richmond, AJ Nwoko, NBC 12. All right. Thank you, AJ. Nice to see you.